Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Cigars and Everything Else podcast. This is episode 70, season it two, is episode, episode 70. 20. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. Sir. We in it. We all the way in it, man. All the way. We got anybody? Hey, look, we actually do. I mean, this kind of revisits a number because we skipped numbers early in the um yeah. in our episodes. And his number's going to come up a little bit later. We in basketball. We okay. in basketball. Basketball season hot and heavy. Number 70, the worm. Hmm. Remember, he had, he, had, he had number 70. I believe when he was with even? the Dallas. Yeah. I thought he had like. With, um, it was either with the Mavericks or, the, or with the Lakers. Oh, uh, okay. I know he was doing weird numbers at a point in time. Like 70 was one of them. He was 21 in uh, the Spurs for the, for the Spurs or something like that. What was, he, what was the number when he was at the Spurs? <clears throat> 20 or something? I don't and know. then after that, he went to like 91 and he ain't looked back since. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think, no, he was 10. He was 10 with the Spurs. He was 10 with the Spurs. He, he, he stuck was. with his traditional 10. Okay. Mm-hmm. If, I, if I'm not mistaken, let me, let, me, let me make sure because I like, I like to call myself an a, a, a NBA historian. You okay. Know, at least for the 80s and 90s and early 2000s. You know, that's, 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 yeah. I feel, yeah, like, I, I feel like I need to know about that. That's why, yeah, my sweet spot. So let me be for sure. Okay. And while you're looking that up, let me ask you this. Do we have mm-hmm. any other options other than Worm, or is it just him? Uh, that was all I was able to find, like, right off right off the bat. As soon as I was okay. reminded, like, oh, yeah, he did win 70, I just, I just rolled with it. I just rolled with it. Okay. I ain't mad at it. It's the Dennis Rodman episode. Yeah, he was, 10, he was 10 with the Spurs. He was still 10 with the Spurs. 10 with the Spurs. Okay. Hey, man. He was 73 <coughs> with the Lakers. But he yeah, was 70 yeah, with the Mavericks. About right. Yeah, okay. So 73 with, okay, the, with, so the, with, we the, got, with the Lakers, but 70 with the Mavericks. It's a good chance this episode and three episodes, man, it's going to be the Dennis Rodman episode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, we're we going to keep bringing it back to the worm. Hey, give the worm his flowers, though, man. Come on now. Got to give him his flowers. Yeah, give, him his, give him his just yeah. due. The most shouldn't have been, but the most all-time great that shouldn't have been an all-time great of all time. Yeah. yeah. And then let me say this, too. When you look at when it comes to, like, rebounding the ball, it's two different mechanics of how people rebound the ball now. I, I don't know if we ever got to this, but how I don't like the, the stat of a, um, the triple-double anymore. I don't like, I don't yeah. like the, the stat of a triple-double. Back in the day, it meant something. When you was only yeah. scoring 80 points a game for the whole team and you was able yeah. to get 10 dimes, and put up 15 to 20 points and then get 10 boards plus. Yeah. You wasn't getting that many shots, but now you get all these shots. And then back then, they played closer to the basket. So if you're going to get the rebounds, you had to fight for the rebounds. Now everybody just yeah. launching threes from the half court, from the logo, from this and that. You you get a triple double, the ball just falls in your hand. You get 10 re- rebounds, you just got to, the ball just fall to you. Back in the, yeah. back in Dennis Rodman days when he was getting off twenty rebounds, eighteen rebounds, that was rebounds. When boxing out was a thing. Boxing <laughs> out was a thing. Do they even box yeah. out? I don't even know if they box out no more. They don't box out now because, like you said, when you shoot the three ball, everybody turn around and go the opposite direction. Yeah, I don't know yeah. if they they the play is over or if they think it's gonna go in or if it's just <laughs> all right. We shot it. We done. Get back down court. Yeah, everybody turn and go the other way. The one person that hangs around is the person to get. I watched somebody do a highlight reel of LeBron James. And one of his triple doubles, and they was like, "Look at how he got this triple double." And they showed yeah. all his rebounds, and they all literally was just they just fell in his hand, fell in his hand, just standing there, dropped in his hands. And the only person he ever had to fight for it might have been Anthony Davis. <laughs> like he was the only yeah. other competition to compete. Yeah, 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 yeah. Com- you, you compete with your own teammate <laughs> to get rebounds. Yeah, because everybody else went back. You know, what I'm saying? and they were the only two trying yeah. to stat pad. And that was so. <laughs> so, what, so, what, so what I want to look at too. Remember back in the day, I don't even know, I don't know if it's a thing now, to where they used to, on your cards, how many offensive rebounds you had versus how many defensive rebounds you had. Yeah. And then your total rebounds. Do they even differentiate that anymore? Like, it's just... I don't know, but I know the it's, it's probably, it's probably no, no, offensive low. rebounds. Yeah, it shouldn't yeah, be no offensive down. rebounds like that no more. It's just all defensive rebounds. It's just, all right, everybody run back. I got the ball that fell in my hands. All right, let me go down and get my turn to shoot. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. And... The the assist thing is weird too because it's no more setting your man up mm-hmm. for an easy basket no more. It's just kind of like I pass it to you yeah. and he ISOed and scored. Like you know what I'm saying? Like so it's yeah. like 
is beyond yeah. your control. It used, it, 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 it used to be an art to set your team up and getting the ball threaded in in a certain situation where you get them in in and the, get the ball in the point where you give them the best opportunity to score. It's like yeah, it, you it, draw it, the it, offense one way Jason and Q. and then you set your man up. Zeke, Tim Hardaway, the way they used to pass the ball, man, it was an art to it. I used to love that. That that, that, that was one of my favorite things to do growing up playing. You know, what I'm saying hooping. I wanted to bring the yeah. ball up. But I wanted to get a nice little pass. And yeah, I did that. Yeah, facilitate. Yeah. I set that shot up. I got him. Yeah. He had that cut. Boom, I got him the ball. That was me. Yeah. I remember th- those days, man. Me as a, you know, uh, guard, every time I played ball, I-, I took pride in that also. It just, mm-hmm. I-, I looked up to the guys that did it. I didn't look up to Jordan getting 30 and 40. That was cool. But I looked yeah. up to like KJ, like, you know what I'm saying? Like just getting <laughs> 15 and 10 and, and, yeah. and seven boys to go with it. I looked up to that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that was, yeah. like, wow, he's incredible. You know, so it, it's, but I don't think that those guys get no respect no more. They don't exist. You know they what I'm don't. saying? Basketball they don't. is evolved beyond that. And then the way the way the way stats are, the stats are just different now. Like I I, I don't I don't look at stats the same way I used to look at stats back in the nineties. It, it doesn't mean it doesn't translate to the same thing for me. Yeah, yeah, most definitely, most definitely. But man, let's get into the stars of these shows, bro. Yeah, I feel like I got a good one. Kind of excited about mine. Okay, I I got one I can't pronounce. So uh, <laughs> there we go. We first. back. We back. So we we back to where we. This is the essence, man. <laughs> We're back at our essence, man. This is us in our purest form. You know what I'm saying? Shout you get a cigar that you can't pronounce. <laughs> yeah. And I'm and I'm falling back on a on a brand that I think that we love. That that we do love, but a line that should it should it should be good with this line. So Okay. I'm so, going, so I'm going to go ahead and this man. I, I'll so. jump off first because I'm interested to see where you go with this. Okay. For me, okay. I have a AJ Fernandez, and it is the San Lotano Requiem Maduro. Boom. Get out of the way. Can we see it? Boom, there you go. By Mr. AJ Fernandez, you know, and okay. that's the company. Okay, we like, yeah, that, uh, we like AJ. We like, and he, he got a lot of other look smaller subsidiaries that he's involved with also. But I, and mm-hmm. I think they do pretty good with everything he's involved with. Uh, AJ, just I mean, just so you know, AJ Fernandez is behind Man O' War and Diesel. You know what I'm saying? So okay, you, okay, okay. Check your your stash. You know, if you weren't yeah, aware yeah. of that, you know, you are still in good company with 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 those names. You know, okay. Because AJ's backing it. So I got I got I got a nice little stash. I got some Man O' War. Got some I got some Diesel and I got some Rocky. Courtesy yeah, of yeah. courtesy of my man here. So I just celebrated my 40th birthday. And I just got hooked up with a stash of stash of cigars. Greatly appreciate it. I, I smoked the um, I smoked the uh, the diesel yesterday. I smoked uh, the diesel like yesterday. It. it was nice. What I liked about it the most, it had a smoky taste that I'm not used to. It has, yeah. a, it has a smokiness. So I got to review that one on the show one day and talk yeah, about that it, smokiness because it, it 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 hit me by surprise. Yeah. I'm not used to it. It's not something I, I usually look for. But when I got yeah. it and I got to it, I'm like, I like this. Little smoky, yeah. little, little smoky See, diesels are cool one of them ones that I, I probably had like one or two diesels before, like ever, mm-hmm. and, you know. And it's like I know it's connected to a good company, so it's kind of like you know, I, I was curious to see how, how, how those would work. I felt, yeah, like I trusted AJ Fernandez a lot, you know. They're, they're like for me, I kind of look at him as a tear underneath, like your, your, uh, my fathers and people like them, you know what I'm okay. saying? Okay, but okay, but I, but they're kind of in, they trust it. They're trusted. They're trusted. They're, they're, the they're, they're trust my father's. Yeah. One of those um pillar pillar companies in the cigar yeah. line. Like they really held hold have held the cigar comp- the cigar world up and continue to hold the cigar world up. And a lot right, of companies right. who are looking to get their footing and get their legging solid, solidified, a lot of them lean on AJ Fernandez for that. So Yeah. And, that, and that's that. why I wanted I wanted to, you know. Shoot a couple of those towards you and yeah. see what you thought of them. So we can get familiar with some of the other ones, the, little, the little smaller subsidiaries that they have. They look smaller branches they involved with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I felt like they probably do good at, but we just don't ever try them. You know what I'm saying? So like, right, yeah, right, 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 right. So that that's the, I'm, I'm bringing it on the show one of these days. I got enough, got enough to go around. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, one yeah, of us yeah. gonna make it on the show for sure. So most yeah, man, most definitely. 
Right. So now that I gave AJ his pat on the back, what which uh, company are you going with now? Because I know you said Drew you have one of those ones. Drew Estate. Okay. Drew Estate. The legal line, legal provider. I got a uh, stick I have not ever seen until last week when I went to go mm-hmm. do my um my picks for uh, for the show last week. The Velvet Rat. You know if we can see that. Okay. Boom, got the little got the little pigtail on there, rat tail, I guess yeah. if you want to call it. Legal provider, Velvet Rat. I saw that. I saw that uh, when I picked up this San Lotano. Did you? Uh, whatever Did you? it is. Okay. Yeah. I, okay. I, I saw it and I said, nah, I don't want to do Drew again. You know what I'm saying? I mm. passed on it for that reason. I should have just grabbed it for the stash, but now that you just got for the it. stash. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. But we're going to see what it's like and see if it's worth grabbing for the stash because it might not be. I'm going to be real. I'm going to be honest with you. The H99, I was looking forward to smoking that. It's legal provider, but I don't think it's one for the stash, not for me. Not for me. So we're gonna see. We're gonna you see if, if, if I had the H ninety nine. Okay, yeah, yeah. And it was it was good, but I guess for for me mentally thinking the legal provider, I wanted it to be super tier. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It kind of let me down. It was a good stick, but it wasn't it wasn't in step with the with the T fifty two and the number nine and and whatnot. So yeah, yeah. I, it, it kind of fell off for me. Yeah, I had it on the show, but I didn't. I didn't. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it ain't. It didn't. I don't remember it as being like one of them ones. It's like oh, yeah. but it was yeah. like okay, so, that's cool. So, so I'm, that's I'm cool. That's cool. And then I put it down. You know, like yeah. In that sense, I'm gonna try to be fair with this. I'm gonna try to be fair and not overjudge it because it's, it's legal. But at the same time, in all fairness, if you're gonna put that band on it and call it the legal, legal call it legal provider. You, you, it's a standard. It's a standard. Okay. That's, all, that's all I'm saying. Hey man, so, long Drew, as you, long as you fair to Liga and you ain't like judging it totally based off preference, though, you know what I'm saying? Like, because I yeah. think Drew, yeah, 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 yeah. a good quality regardless if you like it or not. That's what we always say to Rocky. Rocky always gets mm-hmm. denied. This is good for somebody. It just ain't good for me. You know what I'm saying? So, so maybe, always- maybe, th- maybe this is Drew Estate's way of doing what Rocky, what Rocky kind of does, in more of the Rocky vein. Even though they they have similar um, brand models. Maybe this yeah. is their way of let's 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 expand the palette. So we're yeah. gonna see. It could be an expanding we'll with the with the legal, you know. But who knows? We'll see. All right. So I went What's ahead that? and got mine clipped. What kind of cut is that? V cut, man. V cut. I ain't with V. So hit it with I've the V cut. I got the cedar sticks. We're gonna light it with some cedar. And um, man. So while we getting lit. <laughs> um, I'll let y'all know what I'm pairing with too. By the way, no, I'm pairing torch. with some. Yeah, so I got I got a torch, but I'm not, I'm not torching the Liga. Uh, my light, my, my fire burnt out. Well, usually I'm used to hearing click, 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 click <laughs> over there because you're clicking away on a big. So I'm happy to hear that you had that. <laughs> that was refreshing to my ear. Hey man, I have not had. One light in a while off a match. I'm mm-hmm. on matches again. Let's see if we can get back to our essence, man. Since I'm going back to picking out stuff I can't pronounce. Come on, one match. Go back to one match. Come on, one match. There we go. Now we now we good. So I uh, so I'm pairing with some Don Julio 1942. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Which I never so did I get the review on that. So, so yes, so that, I'm, I'm giving you the review on it. Short, short review, short version. So as we up the um, up the ante on tequila, hey, I'm on match number two, man. That one burnt way too uh, fast. Boy. Them fingers, boy, was started, my fingers started burning. <laughs> I was trying to go off the keep the flame directly off the tobacco. And man, oh, I was yeah, like, yeah, no, yeah, I'm yeah, running yeah, out of time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you good? You good? We got to, we got to, you got to walk you back to it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, this is too good. You, you, you just, you, 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 you got to practice. You got to practice. So uh, we've been walking the line of uh, of tequilas. Um, going through the scope from anything from the Avions to the Grand Corminos to the Sincoro to Clase. So last year, we ventured in the closet around the same time last year. Yeah. And completely fell in love with 
Class A Azul. Um, Definitely. And been chasing it ever since. Even to the point of, let me see what this, let me see what this Reposado's like. Let me see what this Anejo's like. And I had Anejo by the glass. And it knocked my socks off. So, we had the 1942, the Julio, and we got some Anejo. So, I'm not having it chill. It is room temperature. Straight up. Neat. Yeah. Yeah. Not, not straight up, not straight up, but neat. Neat. Yeah. I should have, I should have, I should have it straight up. That would be nice. Straight up would be nice. And first thoughts on my first sip that I had. I wasn't impressed. Ooh. I'm gonna say I was not impressed. Off the first sip. Off the first sip. So let me. I guess let me walk you down my experience, because <laughs> you know how we felt about how, how we felt about the classe off first sip. It was yeah. just out of here. It yeah, was we both here. sat there, and I think we had a quiet <laughs> moment trying to figure out: <laughs> Are we experiencing the same thing same here? Thing. And then we like, were looking, what? and I don't think either one of us was anxious to state our case, but we was kind of like, "Hold on, let me let me one more time just to make sure we ain't jumping the gun." And then we just looked at each other and was like, "Oh, this is." This is different. This is different, this is different. bro. Like, this, this is, is different. nice. <laughs> <laughs> and I was hoping, and, and and that's the same. That's the same disease that I had with the Liga, right? The same unfairness is like, okay, it's got if if, if it's this that I'm, that I'm drinking or this I'm smoking, it has to live up to this. And off the of first sip, I wanted that feeling. I wanted that feeling, and it did not give me that. But I will say. As you um, as you set your palate, and this is when it comes to um, like it gets preparing your palates and stuff like that. We talked about with, with cigars, and the same thing with with um, with drinks of this nature. It's about setting your palate. So after I set my palate, and I kind of got settled into the um, the sipping experience, it was it was top notch. So I will say the 1942 is top notch, um, but it's just not going to give you that that hit that wow on the first, on that first sip. As you settle in with it, it smooths in, rolls off the palate, doesn't burn, and it's, 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 it, it becomes the, the experience. It's like that, 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 that ride you get, it might be a little, a little, you know what I'm saying, a little, a little, not necessarily uneasy, but just not the, the smoothest go, but then once you get going, it's like, okay, I'm here. And that's how the, yeah. how, how my sipping experience was with the, with the 1942 this point okay okay well man it's that's cool to hear so, man you know what i'm saying yeah not not it's a little, little disappointing yeah uh a little bit but at the same time not totally a shock you know what i'm saying because like mm-hmm. you said you had to kind of um you had to you had to get there you know what i'm saying like you had to get yeah. your palate there and then once you were there, you you were able to appreciate it for what it was as, as a good experience. So it's it just sounds like it's just coming from a different vein. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You're going to have the same results, but, you know, you're just hitting it from a different angle. You, you get there saying? differently. Yeah, you get there differently. You had to adjust. Yeah. But if I, had, if, I, if I had to prefer one route over the other, I'm preferring the, the, the Class A route. Get me there, but get me, the way, get me there the way Class A gets me there. <laughs> so so far, I'm honestly say I'm gonna, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be completely honest with you. So far, this 1942 rates number three on my list for tequila. I'm going to place Sincoro above the 1942 Don Julio. You put the Sincoro over the 1942? I thought it was at least gonna get two. Now is is this? Okay, let me be fair to the tequila heads. Is this the additives that's, that's separating these for you? I would like to, okay, let me be fair to myself and fair to the, to the tequila heads. I would like to say no, but I can't, I can't say that it might not, that doesn't play a part. Because I like my, my tequila without the additives. I like my tequila just raw. Give it to me the way that tequila is supposed to be given. Deliver it to me like the like the whole my whole feeling about uh, Casamigos. I couldn't do it. The additives was too much. 
it was right, right. just it was it was over it was overbearing. I didn't get enough raw tequila. So yeah. I do like that, and that is necessary for me to say you are a top notch tequila for me in my top two, top three. So I can't pretend like it doesn't matter because we hear that Class A has some of those additives, right? Just well done, though. Very subtle, well but done. But well done. Just the, the back end so of the it's palette, like, like. It's, it's like, it's, it's like, okay, do you like chicken? And can chicken be cooked very well? But do you not add some pepper? Do you not add some seasoning salt? Do you not season it? Yeah, a good grade or a, or good steak, a a, a good cut of yeah. steak. But yeah, so you may not you go not add the, the steak sauce to a good cut, but it's gotta be it's gotta have some good salt and pepper. You yeah, know what I'm, saying? You I'm, not, I'm not I'm not I'm not gonna drown it in a one sauce. Right, you still right. Gotta, you still gotta you still gotta salt bay that junk. You know what I'm saying? You still gotta put something. Yeah. You still gotta put something yeah. on it. And there's nothing wrong with that you. for accentuating whatever your flavor, or whatever your cut is. And I feel like Closet gives you a good cut of tequila and then they might just add a little bit of seasoning just to give it that knot and give it that notch up. And there's yeah. nothing wrong with that. And you can tell, you can still tell the, the quality of the tequila that you're getting versus like a, a Casamigos who might not give you the, 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 the high level of tequila, but then add more of that sauce and make you try to, try to dress yeah. it up a little bit more. Which... You still have to make my experience. Yeah, you gotta find that balance pleasurable. between the two. Yeah, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah so that's where I'm at. With the cut, <laughs> ultimately, leaves I mean. with the cut, and you finish it with some seasoning. Dress it off with some seasoning. With that, bam, Call just just bam. enough, just 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 a touch. And I think that's what Classe does the best. To this point, to this point, where I'm at. All right, I dig it. I'm with it. Hey man, it's all about learning. It's all about learning, man. You you figured it out. There it is. I'll take your word for it. Yeah. So side by side, side by side. If we if we if we're going to the to to pick up something, pick up a bottle, and they got Don Julio 1942 right next to that Clase Azul, Reposado. Even though one's a Nejo, the other one's a Reposado, that, that white and blue bottle's a Reposado, right? Yeah, it's Reposado. Yeah. I'm grabbing a Reposado. Over the Anejo. Over the 1942 Anejo. So the, the, the 1942 don't make it on the yacht when you got the Davidoff and you, and you celebrating that big deal. I, no, 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 no. The class A comes, but if if somebody came on with, with the bottle of 19, I'm not, I'm not going to kick you off the boat. You, you don't get Come on, bring that. Okay, you come on. Come on, bring, come on, bring that on it. Yeah, 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 let's go. It's, it's cool. Yeah. So it, it's okay. still welcome. It's still welcome. But if I just had to choose one or the other for 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 it's the, the most third grandiose option on the boat, <laughs> <laughs> it's the third option. It's the third the option on the boat. That's what Dang. I'm saying. <sighs> and speaking of, what it is. and speaking of, before we get into um into our subject matter or whatever we got to talk about, whatever the um everything else is, this is part of everything else. I have to present this. You Let's know, I, I, threw, I threw I threw on the blazer. I got my 1942. Okay. And I have to I have to present something because this is going to come later as the content starts to roll out. I have to highlight. I have to highlight. I don't know if y'all can see that just yet. It's in. Perfect. Davidoff time beautifully filled. So I was also gifted to, to, to commemorate hitting another decade of life. Davidoff. Royal. Royal. The Royal Release. This stick is priced at $150 a stick. Whew. It feels in the hand. Unlike any other cigar I've ever held in my hand, yeah. If you if you get a chance to go by the cigar uh, shop and they have one of these, just pick one up. Just pick one. Hey up. man, you know they ain't gonna let you touch those, man. They're gonna be in, they're gonna be <laughs> off to the side where you can't reach it. <laughs> get your peasant paws off my stick. <laughs> Are you buying? Are you buying? Are you buying? <laughs> <laughs> this thing feels. 
it feels premium in the hand. Like the the it's it's it's, it's this bad boy's a boat. It's, this is a Rolls Royce. We talked about cigars and we co- correlated them to to cars. This 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 is a Maybach. I guess. Hold a day stick up next to it. And this oh, this yeah. is a long stick. This is a long that's stick. A, that Royals are looking huge right now. Like yeah. Anyway, before look, you look at the, look at the gauge. It. That's why I wanted to see them compare because I'm like that Royal looks. Like a, remember I told you when you showed it to me, I said it's like a cruise ship. Yeah. Well, how many hours you gonna smoke that for, bro? That's like a five hour experience. And if it and if it is, I need every every last hour. <laughs> I need to spend. Yeah. I might I might have a, I might have a the, the ability to, to to smoke it one day, couple of days. Come on the show and smoke it. Talk about it on the show. Do a show episode with it. <laughs> go you back and do episode it. each third. Hey, the first third is like this, y'all. Like the second third, you know what I'm saying? That's a that's I a might, third. I might have to. Are you ready to specs on that? I have not. I have not. Um, but when I get into my unpackaging, lighting, clipping, and all that stuff, I am going to roll out my full experience with the stick. I'm going to take my time with it. I'll let y'all know all the details about it. And what makes this cigar the the type of cigar that it is, and how is it heralded? Why is it heralded the way it is heralded? So most definitely, we, we're gonna get to it. We're gonna get to it. I am excited to smoke that cigar. I just don't know when, and I just don't know how. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> hey man, we we twenty six into the show. We didn't do an initial thoughts, and we might as well do a midway review, and then just jump right on into some subject matter after this, man. What's your thoughts on where you're at in the stick uh, so far? It's, it's I like where I'm at. Legal. I like where I'm at. I did have a hard time making sure it stayed lit. Um, so, but that did not hinder the uh, the experience to this point as far as like the, the, the flavors and taste that I'm getting. Really yeah. smooth stick. Uh, great flavors. Got a lot of oak. Um, a hint of molasses. Like a hint of molasses. It's, it's um, very subtle. Which I do like. I like when that molasses comes in really subtle, especially like underneath some like some earthiness and stuff like that. Just to kind of give it that that second layer of smooth and ease. It is so far to this point, a few puffs in, living up to that Liga Liga um bravado. So it's yeah. it's it's there. It's right it's right on tier, right on line with the uh with my favorite Liga providers to this point. Definitely, definitely. Well shoot, man, for me, um, I would say there. This is a um, very thick smoke, thick and creamy smoke that I'm getting on it. Great aroma coming off of the stick. I uh, got an oily wrapper, you know that I, that I noticed, and it's got a. Um, it's very rich, man. Very rich um, notes that I'm picking up on. Like mm-hmm. not some you just feel like the 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 notes are. What notes you do pick up on have a rich fullness to it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, what I'm really picking up on is starting to stand out now the most is a, a chocolate note that's coming through. That's like primarily it. standing out to me, but I didn't pick up on that initially. It was just real creamy, mm-hmm. uh, woody notes and thick, like the smoke. I just keep noticing how thick it is. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, and that chocolate note is coming through at this point in time. But it's 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 a good stick, man. It's a good stick. You know what? After you satisfied. mentioned that, you know what? You know what I, I, I like to look forward to in a stick now that I didn't necessarily think to look for? But if I get a dark chocolate taste, like a, a, a slight dark chocolate, yeah, not like a milk chocolate or anything like that, but like a dark chocolate like that, kind of like that bitter, sweet, mixed in with yeah, some yeah, of those tobacco notes. That's what this is. I like yeah. that. I have, I have really found myself liking that little, that little, that little touch. Yeah, yeah, that's 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 what this one is, and that's the primary thing that I'm experiencing right now is exactly what you described. You, you're really good at ex- describing those notes, but yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> that's that dark chocolate with the little tobacco taste. I like that. I like that. Yeah, that 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 that, that is that that is welcome. That's a welcome flavor for me. So anytime I get a hold of one of those, I'm like, I like this. Yeah. yeah so yeah, this is, hey, so check this out though. Mm-hmm. So. <laughs> Get into some, get into some everything else real quick. Okay. 
your boy Diddy. We talked Ooh. about Diddy a few times. This man, the it's piling up, man. I don't know what he did to piss whoever off. <laughs> but it's like chickens coming home to roost, however they used to say it back in the day. Like, yeah. And it seems like it's one thing after another, after another, after another of just piling on from different angles. Not just from one one person or one thing. It's just, now this over here, he's coming in, in the spotlight for that over here. Okay, now we putting light on this over here. And it's just one thing coming from another. And recently we hear about the Cassie situation. Mm-hmm. Now, it didn't, stay, it didn't stay around long. And I, I found out this morning, I don't know when you, found, when you heard the news, but I got the news that it was settled as of this morning. It's like, yeah. man, they got to it quick. They got to it yeah, quick. Said, that got to go. That got to go. I'm going to tell you this, <laughs> though. That don't look good on either one of their parts. True. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It don't look good on either one that they settled that fast. It makes it look like her. For her, it was a money grab. It makes it look like a money grab for her that she it settled does. that quick. It does. And it makes it look like for him, you got some dirt, you got to shut up. That's what it looked like on his part. Yeah. Like, to settle that yeah. quick. Either, settle, for both of them to settle that quick. It doesn't look like you said it doesn't look good for either one. Because yeah. like nah, well for 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 Diddy in his defense, not not necessarily defending, but when you got that much out there that's coming up, so much dirt that's that's creeping up, it's like whatever I can handle right now that I can try to bury as fast as possible. Let me just get that out the way, like whether it's some more dirt behind it. Part. Yeah, it's like let me because that one, was getting one, ugly quick. Like quick. so, for him to get that rid of that, like it's like okay, one yeah. more week of this and that'll be people forget about me. So that was smart on his part to do that. But at the same time, it do look, it make you look like, hey, man. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I, you, hey, I don't even want to fight this battle. <laughs> Get rid of it. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't so want to proclaim my innocence. I, I Shut up. <laughs> I don't want to no parts of it. Yeah. Let's just stop no talking smoke, about but it. You take this money and we're going to move <laughs> on. Like, I don't even want this in the news. No way in the news no more. Like, no, 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 no. No. Would you stop so, telling my veteran business I'm jerking off in front of pro- male prostitutes? Girl, shut up. Take the money. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I ain't want nobody well, knowing I beat my meat to me. Get, take the money and shut up. Like, you know. It. So, you mentioned something before we uh, started recording. And you were saying how Pop, his beef with Big was nothing in comparison to his 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 dislike for, for Diddy. <laughs> yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? He still had love for Big. Like, I feel like even when the whole thing was going on, and you hear some interviews of, of Pac back in the day, and Pac, sometimes he's, he, he's, he speaks of Big like he's his little brother. And just sometimes yeah, I, I got I to I, I, yeah, spank my little brother. So I still feel like even through the beef, he still had love for Big, but a lot of the vitriol became because of his Puffy. dislike for, <laughs> yeah, for Puff. And then now I'm hearing some more news come out and I'm hearing this thing about Diddy holding artists over the balcony by their ankles. Yeah, yeah. I heard he should allegedly, allegedly Wale. It was what? It was Wale. Allegedly, allegedly, it was Wale <laughs> because Wale <laughs> was trying to talk. Was 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 carrying on with Cassie, and he it, it was they allegedly, allegedly. It was Wale. You can't put it past it. The word is when J. Cole came out and acknowledged that they fought, J. Cole said his last fight was with Puff Daddy, and the rumor is he was defending Kendrick Lamar because Puff mm. was, was bullying Kendrick behind so, the scenes. <laughs> like, so, here, so, so here's the thing is what, I, what, I, what, what I'm thinking. Who's the real Suge Knight? Puffy. <laughs> Has Puffy, Bro. Puffy truly been the real Suge Knight this whole time? I heard another thing about Kid Cudi having a going. having a moment with Cassie, and his his his, his whip blew up in his, his in his driveway. No, but get this: yeah, a, he t- he told Cassie, "I'm gonna blow his car up if you keep messing yeah. with him." And and C- Cudi said, "Yeah, my car blew up." Now I can't say it was him, but my car <laughs> did blow up. It's just what it's kind just of coincidence, coincidence is that? That my you car said blew this. up in my whole life. I got all kind of cars. They ain't never blew up. <laughs> never just, 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 just <laughs> exploded. Just for, for no reason. Oh, oh, it, it happens every now and then. Every other year, I got to get a new car because my cars just blow up. <laughs> right. 
It's too right. much of a coincidence. So that the, the question is, who had who has been a real Suge Knight this whole time? The the smiling gangster. <laughs> The smiling gangster. Hey, it looks real, man, I real never, bad boys move in silence and violence. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what he say. Hey, bro, I'll never, ever, ever forget listening to uh they head of security, Gene Deal, say that he was with in the room with Puffy when Puffy say, I can't keep living like this. I don't care who got to die, if it's Suge, if it's Pac, or if it's Biggie, I'm not gonna keep living like this. Now, I don't know if like Gene is lying on him or what, but the fact that he said that was, it stood out to me so eerie. That's one thing I've never forgot. And I heard that interview years ago and it was like, that's crazy. Well, one thing, one thing I can that, say about like, this is with Gene Deal and as many interviews as he's had and as many times that he spoke, one thing that you can find when you, if you listen to all of those interviews or as many as you can, as you can, uh, um, consume, yeah. his stories never change. His stories never differ. Like, I, yeah. if you hear somebody tell their story or tell a story and it's a lie behind it, you hear them tell the story five, ten different ways. Right. His stories have always been consistent throughout the years. Yeah. So yeah, consistent. That's true. So it's like either you believe the, in your mind what's happened that much that you convinced yourself this and then you're telling the story that verbatim and that accurate every single time or it's what's truly transpired. Yeah, man. Hey, man, it don't look good for Puff, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, he, it, and what, I seen on The Breakfast Club, they said he got like a, he's fighting a case quietly in New York, a criminal case. It just ain't nobody I'm saying nothing sure. about it. I'm it's pretty like, sure. Puff, bro, why is all this stuff coming up out on you all of a sudden? Well, did did he did he want to buy a, a network at one point? I don't know. Did he? Was, was he, he was he looking at? I, I believe what he was trying to do at some point, where we got the whole Bill Cosby thing going on, the R. Kelly thing, where where black men are trying to get their just due, and what, as far as far as what they own and what they um their ownership or their their influence and being able to impact the culture in a positive way that things come start trickling out and they gotta shut you up or silence you. I don't know if it's the Diddy wanting to buy BT and take over and start building up the black community and an urban core of things and now it was like nah we can't have you coming in and, and trying to control media. Because in order to control population and control mind, we have to control media. So I can't allow you to come into media and, and, and decide to, to spread a certain idea that I don't agree with. It's counterproductive that's, to my agenda. That's that that makes sense and all, man. But geez, man, the only thing that makes that difficult for me to embrace, okay. Now, the, the Monopoly man could be sitting there going, boo ha 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 Puffy wants to do this. <laughs> ah, see, ah, see, Puffy, pie, Puffy, ha, ah, see? No, it's not going to happen, Puffy. Like, you know, the, the Monopoly man could be twisting his mustache and saying that ain't going to happen. But in order for them to be able to call you out on some stuff, you got to have some, you got to have some history. You know what I'm saying? You got to have a past in order for your past to mm -hmm. come out. Like, yeah, that's true. That's true. Like R. Kelly, you, you, even with R. Kelly. There's certain things that's probably happened in his past. Like, I would even say with the whole R. Kelly thing is, I I don't think he might not need to be in jail for certain things, but at the same time, if certain things didn't happen, then you wouldn't be fighting a certain whatever. Well, so you yeah, got to be... R. Kelly got the OJ treatment. Like, we missed you last time, but you kept yeah. doing dumb stuff, so we got you on this one. You know what I'm saying? Like, and now you probably didn't deserve the sentence on this one that you about to get, but... Mm -hmm. We, we we paid you back, you know what I'm saying, for yeah. old, your old past. You know what I'm saying? What we missed in the past, we we paying you for it. So I think that OJ, R. Kelly, you know, like you said, Robert probably didn't deserve the time he's doing mm -hmm. for this particular sentencing. He's been gone four years, man, almost five years. Yeah. yeah, but, you know, it don't mean he's totally clean in his past either. Like, you know what I'm saying? 
probably deserve to be in jail for something, just maybe not this particular thing. And maybe that's what's going on with Puff. You know what I'm saying? It's just mm-hmm. like, hey, man, your past catching up to you. Maybe maybe you got your life together now. You know what I'm saying? And we just going to expose you for what you were in the past, which I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't want to defend Puff, man. I don't want to defend I know, I know, I know. I know. As soon as I started trying to vouch for him, I already knew. I already knew. He's like, come on, man. Come on. Come on. Yeah, man. Because I, I got to go into okay. the conspiracy to save him. And I, that's so, so, hard for me. So, so here's, here's, here's. Conspiracy to defend you, it's like, ah. Eh. So this is how I operate, though. Like, I, I always like to be an advocate of some kind, in some kind of way. Just that level of doubt. Because we don't know. And, and, and unless I've seen... I can't say this is what happened or it didn't happen. So I hate the idea of public opinion that kind of just tears an individual down because yeah, nobody, definitely. now I'm not saying nobody was there to see certain things, but not all these opinions of people who have them have been around to see this happen, that happen. Only thing you can do is take word of mouth and everything is hearsay until there's concrete proof that yes, indeed, that did happen. So I always take everything with just a small grain of salt to say, maybe it didn't go down the way that they're saying. Maybe yeah. some things are sensationalized. It's possible. So I believe a lot of stuff is sensationalized. Mm-hmm. I think this this is where I differ at with you because I'm with you up until a point. I did the same thing with Bill Cosby. I, def- I, I didn't want to believe nothing with Bill until about girl number 27. Then it was like, all right, Bill. <laughs> you Bill got, did something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bill did something. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? He did something. And that's how I am. Like, like if a rumor don't go away on you, it's like, I kind of be like, all right, that, that didn't go away. There's some validity, some validity to it. What yeah. it is, I but, don't know. But, 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 but to I me, know to me it's you, always... You got something on you. Like, you know what I'm saying? At that point. But I'm not going to judge you because I don't know for certain. Yeah. But... Puffy got too much piling up on him now. He his character is in question in my eyes now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, yeah, right, you got too much. I'm not saying you did all this, but your character has you to come something. into question at a point. Like you did, you did you something. Did, you did something. I, all these, you did something, and maybe some of it's sensationalized, but you ain't clean cut, brother love no more. Like you know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. I, I can't buy that no more. So it, it, I mean. I mean, you look at somebody like like a Fifty Cent that talk junk about everybody has has been an open criminal, admitted criminal yeah. in his lifetime. But you only hear, but you only hear those things about out on him. You only hear, you only hear good things like, about Fifty. Fifty did. You 50 only hear his son. Him yeah, and his 50, son 50. fell out. But other than that, that's it. Yes. And, and that I, happens. That's a whole. That's a whole other story for me. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but that happens. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But yeah, outside yeah. of that, it ain't no negative. You only, yeah, press you only, on 50 you only like hear good things. You only you only hear it's good things from the spirit. Question. Yeah, my, mine, my, my, mine is, mine is, mine is the beefs here and there. You were saying the Ross and Fifty Beef and the Fetch. Like, that's, that's beef. That's different. Yeah. But when it comes down to like talking about somebody's character, you only hear good things about his character. Minus the minus the the gimmick and image that he puts out when he's trolling. But he's a jerk. He's a troll. But you don't hear nothing yeah. bad about him. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I mean, you would think, is, you would think it would be it, 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 it would be flip flop from the things you get from Diddy because Diddy out there, I'm brother love, da, 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 da. I'm brother love, this and that. He ain't got no history in the streets. We it, Fifty might be one of the realest rappers ever in the first twenty five years of hip hop. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Now, some of these kids now is just murderers. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> at, up until Fifty's era, Fifty might have been the realest rapper in rap up until his era and. He he was a sleaze ball in the streets, but you don't hear nothing come back and it's questioning crazy, his right? character. It's crazy. Which means he's a stand up dude. Like he's a stand up guy. Like I don't care if you like him or not. He's stand up, or we'd have heard something stand by now in, in the twenty some years he's been in the game. Like Yeah. Completely, completely opposite of what you hear about Diddy. And Diddy was looked like the clean cut, you know. Hey, I just want to make peace and dance and have a good have a good time. His whole career was projected as that. And mm-hmm. now we're hearing about you hanging people off the 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 thing, <laughs> like them Suge Knight stories. Yeah, that's what he did to Vanilla Ice. Like you know what I'm saying? And made people drink piss and all this stuff. Like you know what I'm saying? Like, but meanwhile, y'all. Y'all was on similar journeys and we never knew. Like, I think that's what the shocking thing is. Yeah. Allegedly, y'all was on similar journeys because once again, we don't know how much Puff has done. 
We just know. Yeah, that, 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 that's, that's, that's our, that's our filter society. white angel we thought he was. You know what I'm saying? Put, that's we, that's we, the we, only we, thing we, I can put conclude. the mask on. And, and a lot of times, like, we, we put that mask on so, so thick, so heavy, that now, once that mask is on, the egregiousness of the things that you could, that, 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 that are possible for you to do can be more heinous than if you're known as that Suge Knight because there's a limit because we expect certain things. So we're looking mm-hmm. for it. You know, and you know that somebody's looking looking for it. You be you 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 you're more you you're more strategic about how you're moving and 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 the, and the egregious things that you're doing. But when you got that mask on, it's like underneath the underneath the surface, I can be doing anything in the end of the world and feel comfortable with it because I got the mask on. Yeah, yeah. Like there's not a Suge Knight story that I've ever heard that surprised me because mm-hmm. I I knew who I was dealing with. You know what I'm saying? But these stories is coming out with Puff is shocking. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, you don't know wh- what to believe, but it's just shocking to hear it connected to, to this brother. Like, you know what I'm saying? That, that at some point we all had some level of respect for, like, and yeah. you may still have it. I'm just saying, but at some point, if you were hip hop head, you had some level of respect for him, whether you rode with the West coast or not, you respected his hustle, like, and who he was. Mm-hmm. Sometimes his message and stuff, man. Yeah, know, man, it's yeah. So hey, switch man, gears. If he's quick. innocent, I hope he's able to clear his name. But if 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 not, so. you know, mean, we'll continue be, to hear more. I you know what I'm saying, and I'm pretty sure there will be more. I got a good feeling, bro. I'm gonna more come. I'm gonna stand by. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking, but yeah. But real quick, the switch gears with you. Yeah, I don't know. We, we ain't got to talk about this long, but your boy three stacks. Drop yeah, the album. Drop that album. He dropped that thing. Oh, <laughs> damn. Yeah. Three stack dropped it, boy. He had his, his uh, sheep feet on and he was getting busy. <laughs> getting busy. So I had a conversation yesterday with one of my homeboys. He asked me how I felt about it. And I wanted to get your full take. We never got your full take. I never got your full take on artisticness and expectation, public expectation, artists and artistic abilities and artistic expression. How you feel? Uh, Just with the idea that he's dropping an album of that genre. Mm Mm-hmm. Overall, well, any, any, any piece of it. I don't have no problem with uh, Dre doing that, man. You know, because that's that falls within line with his brand. It falls in line with his mm-hmm. brand and who he is, and it, he would do something like that. Andre has set a precedence for who he is a long time ago. Like you know, and when he had the chance to, when they did the, the Love Below in the Speaker Box album, you know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. that right there let you know where his head was. You know, when he had the chance to kind of go solo a little bit, you know, he went there. So from that point forward, it's like expect the unexpected from him. You know what I'm saying? When he went on his yeah. little run where he was actually back doing features on everybody's stuff from maybe 06 to 10, 12, somewhere in there when he had that little and run. killing them too. Smashing tracks. Like, you know what I'm saying? But when he <laughs> had that, it was like, we were all happy to hear him rapping again. Like, oh, snap. Bro still got the bars. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm okay with him doing it. You know, sometimes you're going to get those artists that won't get a pass for it. But overall, good work will overcome if you get a pass or not. You know what I'm saying? If you do it and you do yeah. it well, people yeah. will get a pass. Now, Drake could have so did this I, album poorly and would would have got a pass. Yeah. But I think he did do good from what I've listened. I skimmed because yeah. I won't go sit back and listen to 10, 12-minute instrumentals that were slowly <laughs> moving along. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? But from what I heard, it, it sounded very well put together. You know what you I'm can, saying? You can, tell, you, can tell, you can tell he really submerged himself in his artistic abilities and his artistic yes. expression. Yes, I think he got so the most what, out of his ability with that album. Yeah. And, and so that, 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 for me, differentiates what we talked about last week when we talked about you should be happy, you should be just happy I showed up, be, be happy I'm here. And to me, it wasn't uh, an Andre 3000 that, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm showing up, I'm here. Except what I give you. It's like, hey, nah, I got this expression. I'm going to express it. Take to it if you want to. Don't take to it if you don't want to. But I'm just going to put this out to express myself. Yeah. And, and, and get my art out. 
This is what I have yeah. in me. I got to get my art out. Whether you, if you want to listen to it, listen to it. If you don't, you don't. But this is what I got to offer. Yeah. It sounded like he took it serious. You know what I'm saying? It sounded like he yeah, took it very, very seriously. Much so. He didn't very give much us so. like no, no piece of, no half effort. It actually sounded much better produced than I was expecting it to sound. I didn't know what to expect. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it, it seemed like he, he really took his time. He did his best work and he got some very talented people around him to help him with the project. You know, mm-hmm. that's what it sounded to my ears. Now you get other artists, like I can only go back to maybe Wayne when he did a, a rock album. You know what I'm saying? It it just those they weren't the best. That wasn't the best project. You know what I'm saying? So I, that's yeah. why I don't think that you people may not gravitate to it as much when it's not done at a high high level. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. If your rap is at this level and your rock albums here, of course it's only going to do with so much because we like man, nah, bro, you you do so much better music doing this. Kanye is a good example of somebody who. If he jumps into a different genre, he's going to put his foot in it, whether put, it's put, gospel, put, 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 whether it's his singing, heartbreak, 808s and heartbreaks. You know what I'm saying? He's so gonna... that, that, that also leads me to the question, sorry to cut you off. Um, But are we accepting when artists decide to go a different route? Do you think it's, it's becoming more accepted now? Because I feel like back in the day, it and back in the day, I'm meaning about maybe 10 years, 10 years in, in, in past, even though what, um, 808s and heartbreak was what? Oh, it was about 2008. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe 10. Maybe, maybe 10. Maybe 10. So I'm somewhere around there. Might have been 8. Yeah. But um, are we more accepting now when the artist decides to just to switch their angle and just go with whatever they feel? Can we, can we, nah, can we accept it now? I don't now? think so. More? I don't think you don't so. You think so? I think, I think people just don't care. And it's easier mm-hmm. not to care. It's so much content. It, it's so much content. Gonna follow the numbers it, to see if those our albums flopped or not. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, if it don't interest you, you just don't care. You just move on. Like, you just, yeah, you just don't tap into it. Quiet. You, just don't, you, don't, you don't hit download. Yeah. True. But back True. in the day, you would get mad because you were like, I won't go. I ain't going to hear from you for another year. And that's what you gave me. Two you know years, what I'm three years. It might be another two or three years if I hear from you. And this is what you put out. You would get mad with your favorite artist. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, because you had to wait on them. But now it's just the overloading content. People just talk mess about it, move on, and never listen to it. Like, <laughs> Music Soul Child, you know what I'm saying? Purple Wonder Love, The Hustle. Yeah. Like, he could drop that now, and he would be fine. We wouldn't be criticize fine. it. Nobody would just, everybody would just ignore it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He had to deal with the criticisms when he tried to do it, because we were like... It was, ba- it was still, ba- it was still back in that time. Yeah, it was still back in that That's time right. to where we didn't have the, the access to media like the way we have access to media and the, the ability to choose as much as we do now. That right. is the difference. That is the difference. So when your favorite artist was dropping, it meant something. It's like, oh, it meant something. I need a good one. Yeah, don't do And, don't and in them. order to get your album, I'm going to go stand in line and go get it. I'm going to go to the store and get it. I'm, I'm, I'm going to buy this hard copy and I'm going to invest the time put into experiencing yeah, your time, project. Gas, now, traffic. Now it's, okay, do I want to experience your album? Okay, I'm going to experience it real quick. All right, cool. I ain't like it. Put it down. You move on. Yeah, move on yeah, with life. Exactly. exactly. So the so move on with life factor is a lot different now. Yeah. But, it, but, I, but I think it's good for the artist then. It's good for the artist. And also good for the consumer too. In that sense, yes. It allows them to do it and not get criticized as much. Uh, to do something different and not get criticized as much. Um, now, it, it this is okay. This is different though. If you are, you know how back in the day Nas got a real hard time around the time Nostradamus dropped? Yes. Now, yes. Nostradamus actually wasn't a bad album, but we, it was, we it was, view it as it a bad a album. album. It was a good album. We view it as a bad album, but it was a good album. But it was not what his demographic wanted to hear, which is what mm-hmm. Drake is going through now. If you fast forward from that time to today, yeah. Drake is going through the same thing where the core people from his demographic don't want him to do that. you still get criticism for that if you're still doing your genre, but you're doing songs that don't fit your your style of that genre. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. People still ain't really ready to accept you expanding on that level. So if you a gangster rapper and you want to go make love a love album, you know, you might get some <laughs> criticism. Might not be and if you a yeah. party guy and you want to make thug song, you know, people might not want to hear it, you know. But, yeah. 
But you can do another the, genre, and you know the best. The, 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 per, the person, the person who did it, the, the person who did it the best, person who did it the best. Yeah, Ja Rule. <laughs> did what? Bet the best. <laughs> Switching modes. He switched modes on you. Did he? He? Went, straight, he went straight. He went straight. Thug loving man. Let, let's 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 read it. Was received. Ja it was second. received let's, very well. No, no, no. Let's revisit Ja Rule for a second. Did he though? That's always yeah. said that he did. I think so. But did I he think really? So. Well, okay, was it okay. Just the singles. So, was it just the singles? No, it was. Pain is think love. His whole projects was just all love songs. <laughs> pain, the pain, pain is love, love album. Yeah, <laughs> pain is love. Yeah, that was number love at love song. Like ninety percent, eighty percent love songs. Pain is love. He really immersed himself in, into what yeah. he was doing at that Come point. Come on, I guess he said this is working. <laughs> I'm gonna go really good, but all the way in. But prior to that, he was doing just the singles. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. his album would be what it was. But everybody was doing that. Your singles sound totally different from your album. True. Yeah. He just yeah, found yeah, it. Yeah. He, he, yeah, Pain is Low. You're right. Uh, you got me on that. That dude definitely in, was like, hey, this is working. And if I can go platinum was, off this, I'm going to go triple platinum off this. And it, was, and it was actually good to me. It wasn't my favorite uh, variation of Ja Rule. I, I, I like the Vinny Vetti Vici Ja Rule. You like more so than any. <laughs> yeah, I, I did. I did. I was yeah. that was my mode, especially at that time. That was my mode. You fit that, you fit that 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 mode. I'm in. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you could say Ja was the one who uh did it most successfully, or or maybe 50 even. But once again, 50 only did it for the singles. 50 never committed to an album of that either, though. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the animal joint, the massacre, that. yeah, nah. He, he was just doing it for the singles. It was just mainly the singles. Yeah. Hey, well, shoot, bro, man. You want to get into these reviews? Yeah, I'm ready to do it. Okay. I'm ready to okay. do it. I'm, 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 I'm nice off my dial, Julio. Okay. This joint was pretty nice. So I, I can go ahead and kick it off. If you want to, I'll go. You go ahead. You go ahead. All right, I kick it off. So Velvet Rat. It's a legal provider. It's a, ja, it's, it's, it's a what I say, a Ja Rule. It's a Drew Estate. <laughs> ja Rule. <laughs> it's a Drew Estate. It's a legal, it's a legal line. It's a lot. It's, it's, that's heavy company. It's a heavy, that's heavy company. So I will say my experience through the first third has been a very pleasurable experience. Aroma, top notch. Aroma, Almost mirrors what the kind of aroma I would get off of Cohiba, mm-hmm. which is one of the best aromas you can get. Uh, that molasses was underlying there. A little hint of cinnamon started popping in by the time I got to this point of the um uh, of this first third. Very smooth smoke, very very mild. Um, not much spice at all. I don't know. I don't know if the profile said it was supposed to have any spice in it, but um. Got a nice little earthiness, little oak, and then that molasses with a hint of cinnamon, just kind of kicking in right at this tail end. We'll see. I think it's. I feel like it's going to become more prominent as I go into the second third. So I am looking forward to that because I like. I like a little bit of cinnamon. I like a little bit of cinnamon. It's um one of one of, probably like maybe my top five favorite flavors to pick up pick up out of a cigar. We got. We, we probably have to go into that. What are your top five flavors that you look that you look for as your cigar transitions? And cinnamon might be one of those top five for me. Um, but when it comes down to your Ligas, it does not pass the number nine. It doesn't pass the T-52. It's a strong third, though. It's a strong third. I can definitely see myself picking up this Velvet Rat again and keeping it in my humidor. And I'm going to give it a rating of a solid 4.5. Okay. Okay, four point five is is more than solid. One to five, four point five is fantastic. Uh, I don't, I, I don't have a no. I still don't really have a number for myself right now, man. But mm. I, I'm gonna just go with what I feel in the moment as I talk oh, AJ. about it. Come on, AJ. For the AJ, uh, San Lotano Requiem Maduro. See, I got about here in it, so I'm uh. Into my second third at this point in time. Yeah, yeah, I'm like you in your second third. Uh, the changes have been subtle, but primarily it's mostly what I was still experiencing from the beginning. Uh, the smoke isn't 
quite as thick as it was originally, but it's still got a lot of richness to it. It's got some oiliness to it uh, that I pick up on. It is definitely still that dark chocolate, which is provides a sweetness, but it's not the sweetness that you would get from like cocoa. Cocoa, uh, yeah. you know that that milk chocolate kind of taste. It's it's it's, it's a lot more of a mild sweetness to it. Uh, very subtle, um, semi sweet, semi sweet. Yeah, that type deal. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I would say I've picked up with a. I would have to describe it that in the second third here. I've just started to notice it is probably what you said, cinnamon. It, that's the type of spice that it is on the retro hill. Specifically, I, I, I think I can narrow it down to cinnamon. I think it's safe to say that's that's the type of spice it is. There is also something on the retro hill that I'm picking up on this. I want to say is licorice. I haven't been able to narrow it down, but it's kind of sitting in the mix. But it's not bad, bro. It's not bad because okay. I normally okay. don't like the licorice. But yeah. I'm trying to figure out exactly what what the sweetness was and I'm trying to decide, is it like a cedar type thing or is it licorice? I'm going to have to say licorice, but, but I'm having a hard time settling to say if that's it, but it, it, it could be that regardless it's, it's good. It's, it, it provides something good for it. It doesn't actually work in a bad way, which licorice normally works in a very bad way. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I think the richness of this Maduro wrapper, it, it, it works well with it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, nice. Toning all of that down. Anyway, for me, I'm going to go with, this is what I f- just feel. The number that's coming to me is a 4.3. So I'm going to okay. go with that. Yeah. yeah. Very good cigar. Okay. I like it. It could be one of my. Uh, I was anticipating you know, lower. I, nah, bro. Because hey, I say licorice. <laughs> well, okay. Well, um, were, you, were you finished? I'm finished. Yeah. Okay. Because I, I, I don't, I don't want to short, shortchange you in any, in any way. So I talked about top five flavors that I might like, but you named two things that I, uh, two out of maybe three of the things I don't look forward to in a stick. Leather being okay. one of them. You didn't name that, that but that's, that's one of them. Oily. Depends on how you do your oil. If it's too oily and licorice. And I'm like, oh, who no, no, it wasn't too oily at all. It wasn't too oily at all. So oily, well. leathery, and licorice. Thumbs down. Yeah, I don't mind. Yeah, that's, that's, that's three strong ways right. to lose me, Gurkha. <laughs> they they do it all, but they overdo <laughs> it. That's the thing. You were sounding, you were sounding like a Gurkha like, for a minute. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Gurkha do it bad, bro. Gurkha give all them flavors a bad a, a bad rap, man. Because Gurkha is like they just take it and just pile it up there like if yeah. this is salt. They just do that with it. <laughs> but like the oil, the oil on this is fine. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's not done in a bad way. It's done tastefully. And even with the licorice, which is what I'm calling it, but I don't even know. I'm torn between licorice and some type of puts me in the mind of cedar, but it's not that, you know what I'm saying? But mm-hmm. it, it was kind of a cedary vibe to it a little bit. But I, I, I felt like more licorice than cedar, but I don't know. I can't tell you what the note is, but it, it provided a sweetness to it on top of but on the retro hill on top of the cinnamon, you know what I'm saying? So it kind of gave a sweet and spiciness to it Okay, on okay. the retro hill. But then it's got that semi-chocolate that you actually pick up just, you know, normal. And it was like, okay, this is this is a nice little combination of what they got going on. It was a good cigar, man. Like, those, 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 combos, those combos matter. Like when you add certain flavors and certain things, those combos matter. Those combos yeah. matter. Yeah. You got to be able to do them right, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and they, they did it right. It's... And you might smoke this and pick up on something totally different, but this is a good stick for me, man. I say it's a 4.3, man. All right, All right cool. Cool. We got a 4.5 yeah. and a 4.3 for, for today's episode, for the worm episode. Yeah, man. Getting them boys, man. We putting them up. <laughs> hey, we appreciate y'all for tuning in this week's episode of the Cigars and Everything Else podcast. We out. Cigars up.